be safe forever, hanging in this perfectly stable magic tree. You know, Steven, one of these days you're gonna have to stop tempting fate. Wow, a total stranger. Pearl, got it. <laughs> you're back. She was inside Rose's lion and you're not even gonna question that at all? You were in my lion and now you're in my house. Well, thanks for having me. I can't believe it. Rose said she lost track of you at the battle for the ziggurat. She was worried sick. She was in the lion that you didn't even know Rose had until very recently. Seriously? No one's picking up on this? Something's up! Shenanigans are called! Why are you two so dumb? Oh, there she is. You... Do you know me? No, I'm so sorry. It's not always easy to understand Rose's choices, but we have to stand behind them. No, no you don't. They're not easy to understand because they're complete fucking bullshit. Homeworld's final attack on Earth wiped out all of the crystal gems. Rose was able to protect Garnet and myself, and by the looks of it, she was able to protect you as well. Ugh! I knew those Homeworld elites were twisted. How many of us did they shatter? Crazy Lace? Pigs? Snowflake? Do you smell that? That's the bittersweet smell of vindication. I'll never forget the look on that Nephrite's face when you pulled her out of the cockpit. Oh, I know. How embarrassing for her. <laughs> so let's pick up where we left off. To the forge! Damn, I like her. She's got energy. She's got passion. She's ripped as fuck. And she's gonna be corrupted or bubbled, isn't she? Nothing like a hot lava bath to get into a work and move. She bathes in lava? God damn it, Sugar actually outdid herself this time. This character's fucking great. Wonderful addition to the cast and new blood that was desperately needed. Hey, it's a pleasure doing bismuth with you. <laughs> bismuth is so funny. I don't know. Same joke twice? Well, it'll be really funny if she does it a third time. I used the same joke four times and people were still bizzing and mything about it. That was a very strained pun. <sighs> it's been a long day. I don't know. I mean, she's one of the original crystal gems and no one ever mentioned her to me. Not even Rose. Don't you think that's a little bit, uh, suspicious? Yes, yes, Amethyst. It's very suspicious. Good job. Have a cookie. With this, you can really do some damage. Steven, what are you looking surprised for? What did you think the purpose of a weapon was? You're part of an army! Or at least a squad! <laughs> Laser? Why did that happen? <laughs> I'm gonna wreck your Bismo! Hey look, Amethyst is fighting pragmatically! Fucking awesome! That's great! This is just full of good stuff! So when does Sugar ruin it? Just another quartz soldier made right here in the dirt, but she was different. And she was different because she decided to be. She asked me what I wanted to build, and I'd never heard that before. And gems never hear they can be anything other than what they are, but Rose opened our eyes. If I could just stop the jokes for a second and speak directly, people keep asking me for a glass of water talking about Rose's philosophy, and to be honest, I can't make one. Rose's philosophy amounts to little more than individualism, which is a predominantly arrogant and shallow philosophy about people believing they're special in the long run. In real life, individualism doesn't amount to anything because the reality of the economic world we live in values your skills and what you can do over who you are. There's an irony with Steven Universe in that Rose's view of the world is the world we often like to believe we live in, but Homeworld is the world we actually live in. I designed this sword for a fair fight. It can cut through a gem's physical form in an instant, destroying the body, but never the gem. Cool. But Homeworld doesn't fight fair. That's why we need a different strategy. Pacifism only benefits your enemy because it means you die faster. Listen up, you Homeworld upper crusts! We are the Crystal Gems! <laughs> I like the intended use, Bismuth, but the way you've designed this weapon means you need a gem to hold still. 
Maybe you should have Rose's sword in your offhand. I can't use this. What? Why not? Shattering gems. Wouldn't that make us the same as Homeworld? No, that's not how anything works. It's the killing Nazis principle. Homeworld aren't Nazis though. Tell that to all the gems they corrupted en masse. Killing a monster does not make one a monster. And if you sincerely believe it does, you're a fucking idiot. Wait, Bismuth, this is just a big misunderstanding. Liar! Don't play games with me, Rose. We were right here. I offered you the secret to victory and you refused. The breaking point would have changed everything. I didn't want to fight you, but you left me no choice. Look, Bismuth is evil. She's trying to kill a child. Yeah, if I were in her position, I'd probably kill Steven too. If I were in any position, I'd kill Steven. Ugh. Bismuth, this has to stop. So what are you gonna do? Shatter me? Go ahead. Just do it. God damn it, Steven Universe. Don't let your memes be memes. Oh, damn it, now I'm doing it too. No, even if we don't agree, nobody deserves this. Homeworld is doing more than just disagree, Steven. This is Richard Spencer being defended by perpetual fence sitters all over again. You should have shattered me back then. At least if I were in pieces, I wouldn't have to know how little I mattered to you. You didn't even tell him. You bubbled me away and didn't ever tell your friends. My friends. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them everything. <laughs> then you really are better than her. Not by much, but it's a start. And so Bismuth suffered the fate of every other character who dares to be the slightest bit interesting. Blue, what? There's something I need to tell you. See kids, killing people is bad, but condemning them to purgatory for eternity is totally fine. Anything's fine as long as it's not violence. Well, actually this is violent, but in a far more indirect way. Like defunding Planned Parenthood.